government, why is the Pentagon saying it's going to go to war with Syria? Why? What authority does this government have? The wealthiest country in the world. That's right. The one with the most weapons. The one that has committed the most aggression in recent history. The one that has toppled most governments in order, in order to overthrow any type of independence struggle, in order to install dictators, in order to crush any real popular resistance. Why does this government have the authority to say what's humanitarian and what's not? The truth of the matter is that Israel in the Middle East protects many of the U.S. interests in that region. The United States uses its colonial project of Israel to defend its geopolitical strategy, to allow access to the Mediterranean. But not only Israel, Jordan, as Eugene was saying, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, many of the regimes that simply do the bidding of Washington. And you know what? Israel occupies a part of Syria That's right. and has occupied a part of Syria for decades. And the Syrian people are not down with that and they will not allow that to continue. So there have not been official relations between Syria and Israel as there have become official relations with the other U.S. client states like Jordan and Egypt under Mubarak. So the question for the people of Syria is do we give in to U.S. aggression? Do we allow the continued Israeli occupation of the Golan? Do we allow the United States to set our destiny? Or do we set our destiny as human beings, as sovereign people, as a sovereign country in the Middle East? Do we do that for ourselves? Every person on earth has the right, every nation has the right to self-determination. The United States, this government, the government of warmongering and of aggression, has no justification or authority to carry out yet another regime change, not only in the Middle East, but anywhere on this planet. We stand in solidarity with Syrian self-determination, and we oppose any U.S. intervention, any U.S. escalation in the Middle East. And do not get me wrong, this would be an escalation, and it would mean massacre, it would mean tragedy for the people of the Middle East and Arab people. And that's why we're saying Obama, hands off Syria. Obama, Obama hands off Syria. Obama. Obama.